London bridges, makeshift houses on stilts, and children carrying gallons of water back and forth from this public pipe. That's the sad reality that the over 30 people living in the Antelope Street extension area face on a daily basis. Their deplorable living conditions and lack of basic human needs have only been exacerbated by the pandemic. One of the residents, 28-year-old Philippa Ramirez, says that access to clean water is challenging, particularly when it rains in the area. If you notice how the bridge set up, when it gets flood, the bridge just starts to run off. We have snake back here, if we get water, we go to the public pipe. Then you have to try, you can't bathe, be careful, leave water, you have to use it to try to wash the ladies' chest so you can eat, be careful, have to eat, you understand? And one time it rained the other day, the other thing, I can't go out for no water, I had to come and beg my brother for a little bit, he never have none neither because he no got water the same way. So we had to try, get somebody from the front to come in, use the um, rubber boots and the water fire pass for him rubber boots for me come and get to his son drinking water the back here the residents of the area say that apart from not having portable water they are also faced with rodents and insects 24 year old kylie ramclam says that she moved to the area to escape paying rent but with cheaper rent the situation has worsened on rainy days kylie is forced to maneuver her way in knee-high waters Back here, sir, it's tough, really tough to come in the entrance of the bridge, that's the number one. The bridge really broke up and we not have no, barely have entrance to walk in. I live more to the back, you can't even, you can't even reach there because back they have too many water, a lot of water. We don't have no water the back here, that rough, 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 we don't have no water. Then the mosquitoes and the things, a lot of mosquitoes, a lot of animals. These single mothers say that they have tried to apply for utilities to be set up in the area, but with no proper thoroughfares or official mapping, it has proven impossible. According to Sadie Ramirez, who grew up in the area, a street is desperately needed. Well, you see the condition for you come in, how you start walk. Walks are not the corner back here, BL are not the corner back here for the situation right here, so they are telling you, call. you need the street. You understand? So we need to come together because according to them you need about 25 or 30 people who are residing in the area to come together. It is interesting to note that many of the residents in this area are squatters who are living on a prayer that the government would step in to help improve their living conditions. Squatting has been an ongoing issue, particularly in the Collet and Lake Independence area in Belize City. Reporting for Love News, I am Vijay Alvarez.